Hello Hackaday followers, this is PK again from that minimal video card project you all love and enjoy, VGA Tonic. I'm here today because we're coming up on the first cuts of the Hackaday contest. In fact, we're squeezing this little video in right before entries close and just before the culling begins. You know what that means, right? We better hustle to show something working. Before you is a HP S2031, a fairly typical monitor, which happens to be very, very special. You see, this has been my most loyal piece of lab equipment during this project. Right now it happens to be sleeping, but let's wake it up by plugging in VGA Tonic, the little green PCB that you can see on the right of your screen. And just like that, VGA Tonic has come to life. You're looking now for the first time on YouTube at uninitialized memory from VGA Tonic. You see, every pixel is represented by eight bits of color depth in our RAM, and we haven't yet told that RAM what to be. So you're seeing whatever randomness creeps into our RAM by default because of the manufacturing process. Well, that's great, you're probably thinking. The project passed the smoke test, but now what? On the left bottom of your screen, that blue PCB is an Intel Galileo. And we're going to use it today to emulate an Arduino dev board on steroids, basically. In our case, we're going to upload a massive 2.2 megabyte sketch to demonstrate VGA Tonic working. So here's the last chance for all you deniers. Do you think a five volt driven SPI input video card is possible on a 144 macro cell CPLD? Of course it is. Was there any serious doubt? Here you can see a rotating selection of fine 8-bit images, mostly of my daughter and my dog, with some beautiful dithering presented to you today by Adobe Photoshop. This particular image selection got me some points with my wife, and hopefully now some points with the internet. As for the technicals, SPI or SPI or however you pronounce it is clocked at 8.33 megahertz for this demo, which means our theoretical throughput at that speed is about 960 nanoseconds a pixel or about a million pixels updated a second. Uh, to say it another way, that's 3.4 completely changed frames per second. Now that ga Galileo that you can see can hit up to about 25 megahertz SPI without breaking a sweat. So in our theoretical absolute worst case in which every pixel just changed everywhere on the entire screen, that's still 10.2 frames per second. I mean, you'll probably lose a first person shooter with those rates, but that's not horribly shabby considering low action cartoons will sometimes drop down to six to 10 frames per second. Now, this demo right here with no NTSC is already tipping the scales at 108 macro cells, but I promise you that this won't be the last version of the firmware. But this is the first version of the firmware that proves that our crazy little project is possible. And hey, it's actually a usable product today. So stay tuned for further VGA Tonic, and thanks again for watching and following.